it's crazy to think that I moved to the other side of the world at age 18 and but yeah I'm really happy that I did and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Velkommen til Jøring, a very very small town situated in Denmark's north, a town with a population of less than 30,000. Some of those Australian female professional footballers, one of them set to join me shortly. Let's go meet her. So it's a great pleasure to be joined by India Riley here in a wonderfully unique part of the world. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Tell me a bit about where we are. Here in Neuring, we're at the top of Denmark. You know, it's quite far away from Copenhagen. It's a small, small, small town when you compare it to places in Australia. But yeah, I'm happy to be here. It's a nice little town and it's where I call home. How is football and that cultural side of life in this part of the world? Playing at Fortuna, that's a girls only club. So seeing um, young girls from the ages of three being in all girls teams, you know, that's really inspiring and it's not something that you really see in Australia. So yeah, here they live and breathe football from a very young age. Now this is a club full of history, consistently having performed in the Champions League in recent years. It's a special place to be. Some big things have happened here. I've played a lot of important games here, you know, versus Barcelona here in the Champions League. So yeah, it's a nice place to be and I love coming here and playing here every weekend. What is it about perhaps this club or this part of the world that it offers you and other Australian players a way to develop that perhaps is a little different to what you experience in Australia? I think the main difference is, is that playing over here, you know, it is all year round. You know, we play a full season, um, a full home and away season. So we get a lot of football, basically. When did you begin to fall in love with football and how did your journey begin? So I actually started quite late. I started when I was in under 12s, but I think as soon as I stepped onto the field, you know, I loved it. Growing up in New Zealand, you know, the main sport is rugby. So I was playing rugby until I was 12 and then made the switch in under 12s. Is there a buzz about the fact the World Cup is on the horizon from over here in Europe? Yeah, you know, when people ask me where I'm from and I say Australia, and I ask if they've ever been, they say no, they're waiting until 2023. You know, they want to go there and experience the World Cup there and see what Australia is like and New Zealand too. To have the high profiles of athletes coming to play in that and being able to see the games live um, firsthand in Australia and New Zealand, I think it would inspire a lot of young girls and hopefully um, get a lot more girls loving the game from a young age. Take me back to your debut and first call up for Australia. Yeah, I just remember when I got selected, I froze with my phone in my hand. I couldn't believe it. Where does that rank at this stage of your career in terms of your most special memories? I think it's got to be up there with number one. Yeah, it's extremely humbling. You know, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have represented Australia. When I was playing at Brisbane, one person I really looked up to because we played similar positions was Hayley Rasso. When the squad announcement came out that I was going to my first camp, I remember the message she sent me. It said, congrats, kid. I'd been playing with her since I was 14 and I've looked up to her for so long and to be in that camp and to play on the field with her is amazing too. So here we are, another part of the town, only a few minutes away. It's all here in such small proximity. Yeah, it is. You know, it's just a short walk from the stadium where we just were and our fields where we train is basically our backyard and it's nice to have some a little bit of home here with me. Angie, how special is it to be here in this town playing football, living together and sharing this experience together. Yeah, it's awesome. I think the homey feeling here, the fact that everyone knows each other, you know, you walk down the street and people kind of know who Fortuna Yoring is and the football club. Uh, it's really cool to just have such a footballing environment around us. Mm. Um, and I guess having, having Indy here is, is okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to do outside of the football pitch? I think my favourite place is Kapu, the cafe, you know, we get to go there on our off days and it's nice to connect with my teammates off the field and really get to know them off the field and spend great times with friends. Football is a massive part of our life but we're also people outside of the outside of the uniform that we wear, the boots that we wear, so it's, it's great to be able to experience the passions that we have outside of football, whether it's travelling, um, music, gym, anything like that. I think it's really important to make sure you don't lose yourself too much in the football world. Growing up, did you have a favourite play or do you have a favourite player now in the game? Um, at the moment, it's Keelan Mbappe. Um, we're birthday twins, so 
we're basically the same. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Very cool. Indy, today has been a lot of fun. Angie, a pleasure to meet you as well. And we wish you all the very best of luck for life here in Yorting and for whatever is to come in the future. Thank you so much. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.